Hey guys, welcome back to Kerbal. We are off to the moon, but before we could go off to the moon, we needed to get um, a bit more cash and we needed a bit more science. So I did, uh, I did a quick rescue mission. Uh, I went up, got three, rescued three Kerbals, and since we had a spare seat, I also took a VIP passenger with us to complete that contract. And uh, we managed to pick up 24 science from doing EVAs. And uh, obviously we got our parts back, which is nice. And here's our crew, and all picking up XP, which is wonderful. And let's take a quick look at the contracts. The, the VIP ferried to safety, excellent. And uh, yeah, we rescued Melise Kerman. And we miss rescued Raydan. Yes, we rescued, we rescued Waydan. And then we rescued Wadboy. <laughs> Who should we rescue next? Wadwick. <laughs> All right. So yeah. So um, we had a fantastic time. Um, Rodbury Kerman was added to the crew, which is uh, which is excellent. Melise Kerman was added to the crew, excellent. And Raydan was added to the crew. Oh man. All, all that stuff. Now we can get ready and head off to the moon. So, what do we need to do to get to the moon? Well, uh, first I'm going to get rid of a couple of these flags so that we can, we can do some upgrading. Now, I'm going to upgrade the uh, research and development. So, let's do that now. So, that's going to cost us 450,000. We're up to 731. So, we've got 280 left. I'm also going to upgrade mission control. Now, that's going to cost me 282. Now, I can't afford to do that. Right, so, I'm going to go into mission control little bit of a tip here and uh, I'm just gonna pick up like any mission that gives me a, um, a an advance okay oh this expires in like eight minutes oh this is a tip before you start any mission uh, it's a good idea to run through and see if you've got any contracts which are expiring anytime soon this expires in eight minutes but once you take it you've got five years to do it okay so I'm gonna take this contract that gives me a bit more cash now I can go back out here. I can upgrade mission control. Upgrade that. Nice. Go back in. Now I've only got 22,000. Well, I, I, I probably can't afford to build. In fact, I can't afford to build uh, a rocket to the moon with 22,000. But because we've now got unlimited contracts, uh, we can now take all of these if we want to. So, um, yeah. Like, why, why not? So we can take all of the advances from these contracts. Oh, and look at my cash ticking up. 64, 98, oh, science data from surface of the moon. We definitely want to do that one. 123, and we could even have explored Duna, and look at that. That's an advance of 187. Well, let's take it. Cool. So, having taken all of those um, contracts, we've now got loads of cash. We've upgraded our buildings, excellent. Now we can go and build. Oh, oh no, no, I've got to research a couple of things. Oh, I'm, I'm so excited to go and build the rocket. A um, couple of things we're going to grab. Now we've got 260 science to spend. So I can take advanced flight control. We know that we can build a rocket which will get there. I'm going to take advanced flight control. Now you, you probably might think, well, you'd want to take landing. But in actual fact, we've already got basic struts that will that we'll do and then we're going to take specialized control now why am I taking specialized control and it's for this unit here this is an SAS unit this gives you SAS without having to have a pilot which is very handy because we're going to take a scientist on this flight Jeb has already done the the piloting thing. He's been he's done the flyby of the moon. He's worked out all the trajectories and they've done all the maths. Now they're going to send a scientist to bring back loads of scientific data. Right, let's go build a rocket. Okay, guys. So this is the rocket that we're going to use. And and rather than this time build it, I'm going to kind of take it apart and show you and show you how it's constructed because it just takes too long otherwise to actually like build the whole thing. So let's um. Let's start with the stages. So we've got a whole bunch of uh, rockets in this kind of weird configuration. And we start off with 
these double boosters are our first tier of boosters and then they're jettisoned uh, yeah so that let me tip it around this way then they're jet those four are jettisoned and we we start these two and then they're jettisoned and those are our last two this two on these on this side and then when we're through all of our all of our boosters then we've got this which is uh, one of these I'll show you um, which is one of these big fat X200s that holds uh, what is it um, 14 40 units of fuel now this is a big fat gas can but it's only got a little booster uh, a little engine on it it's only got the uh, the T45 swivel which is this uh, this little thing and this struggles to get this into into orbit but we need to this stage so this this part and the boosters that needs to get us into orbit or, or nearly into orbit so that's the that's the stage to get us into orbit when we're in orbit we then have this stage which consists of let me get rid of decoupler which consists of um, uh, a, nine, a Terrier 909 engine and a T400 uh, fuel tank so that's that now that stage has to get us to the moon as a as an absolute minimum and hopefully slow us down a little bit as well if um, that's, that's kind of a bonus to be honest this has to get us to the moon but yeah I, I would like to have a little bit of fuel left over to help us slow down so that's that stage let's get rid of the decoupler as well then we get to the this is the stage which is going to land on the moon and then return to uh, to earth so we've got a Terrier engine, a T400 tank, we've got landing gear, we've got all of our science on here, so we've got uh, a science module, science junior, we've got um, a two hot thermometer and a barometer, we've got a couple of mystery goos on there, so that's all, that's all of our science. We've got this um, very elaborate ladder, which is made up of little, let me show you, let me pick up one. Just, just made up of these, just like put all the way down here. Then we've got some photovoltaic cells to generate electricity because we're using SAS. And this bit on the top, this is the SAS module. This is the fly-by-wire avionics hub, which you'll find in the command and control sector section. So, uh, this, yeah, this, this thing, right? And that just gives you SAS. And what that means is that instead of needing a pilot, we can have a scientist fly this and we're going to have Bob Kerman so Jebediah you are not going to be crewing this it's going to be Bob Kerman our scientist well one of our scientists now because we've got we've got Ray Dan as well it's going to be Bob Bobby Kerman is going to be taking this up right we've got our landing gear anything else that I haven't shown you uh, we've got two radial parachutes to slow us down and then the, the final stage, which once we've returned, once this stage has brought us back to Earth, um, to Earth, to Kerbin, then this is the stage which will re-enter with a heat shield on the bottom. So there you go. That's um, that's the rocket. Shall we um, shall we go and launch it? Let's do it. Okay, ready to go to the moon? Let's do it. So let's put SAS on. Uh, we'll leave thrust at uh, fifty percent and lift off oh look at these eight solid rocket boosters going oh yo yo and they're burning down we're getting ready to uh, to jettison them pretty soon there you go they've got about 20 percent 10 and jettison them Okay. At this point, we'll we'll uh, yeah. You know what? Once these get down to about twenty percent, we'll uh, kick up our main engine. But we're okay at the moment. Passing ten thousand meters, ready. Okay, let's kick in the main engine and 
jettison those. Right, we're on our last two. So at this point, I'm just going to start to gently turn her. But you've got to be got to be pretty gentle with this. Here we go. Correct any roll or instability. Okay, jettison those tanks. All right, we're looking good. We're up at uh, almost 600 meters per second. We're passing 30,000. We're going to continue to push over now towards 45 degrees. Looking pretty good. Just gently pushing this over towards 45 degrees. Okay, hold it there. Nice. We're passing 45,000. Now what we need to do is pick up some speed. Now this is a this is a pretty fat, heavy rocket for um, for this engine to deal with, but just about coping. We're picking up speed, but pretty slowly. So we're gaining altitude. We're up to almost 60,000 now. Let's go and have a quick look. So our apoapsis is already up to 76, 77. Looking good. 80,000. Okay, what we're going to do now is just turn this towards the horizon and look to pick up speed. So, like, pretty much bang on the horizon. And we're just trying to pick up speed now. And we should see that our apoapsis is going to hold relatively steady. It's not going to go up very quickly. But, uh... Our speed should start to climb. We're over 900 meters per second now. And 950. 1,000 meters per second now. All right, looking good. Okay, our apoapsis is holding steady at about 85,000. Let's check our fuel. We've got about 20% of our fuel left. And essentially what we're doing is we're transitioning like directly from our, our launch into our orbital maneuver. So we're just going to keep pointed at the prograde now. And you can see that our orbit is continuing. Now we're past our apoapsis at 86,000. How's the fuel? We must be almost done now. Continue to point right at the horizon. Okay, we'll jettison. I've got an auto cycle on. We'll jettison that engine, kick in the next stage. Okay. So we're just now waiting for our periapsis to appear. You can see our apoapsis is going up now. Here we go, here's our periapsis. We just want to get that. Anything over 70,000 is fine. Here it comes. 55. 60. And 70. That will do. Okay, cool. Right, we have achieved our orbit. Excellent. Okay, so now we can think about um, creating a trajectory to get us to the moon. Now, I'll point out my orbit is not quite a standard orbit. Doesn't actually matter. Does not actually matter. Okay, let's um, let's get our trajectory to the moon. Now, I'm sure you remember from uh, the uh, our moon flyby episode how to do this. Uh, click on the moon, set the moon as your target so that the orbit turns green. Then, you wanna turn the circle so that it's full onto you and then move the moon around to the three o'clock position. Now, in actual fact, once you, once you get used to this, you'll figure out that you wanna be between two o'clock and three o'clock, so two o'clock and three o'clock, about, about there. 
then zoom in go to your blue orbit at six o'clock out of maneuver and we can zoom out and it's just a straight prograde maneuver to bring that out up oh, way too way too much let's bring that back here we go uh, I was just looking just in case I'm going to show you how this works so as you go out eventually you'll get these two icons which is our position uh, and the moon's position at the closest point okay assuming that we follow this orbit so we want to get a bit closer and then our encounter starts and then we get a different set of icons and here's our periapsis to the moon this purple icon so we want to bring that in until it's something acceptable 700,000 we want it to be probably like certainly within 50,000 oh disappeared Let's bring that back a little bit uh, 77 in a little touch 36,000 you know what that's fine that's absolutely fine anything between anything between 20 and 50,000 is fine okay so um, we can now warp to this maneuver but I'm gonna ask SIS to automatically point us at the maneuver because SAS is good like that how are we doing for fuel let's bring our fuel up there we've got lots and lots of fuel I'm just gonna go back and look at the fuel that we've got here yeah I mean we've barely used any of this this stage needs to get us to the moon uh, anything more than that is a bit of a bonus so let's warp to this maneuver we go I'm excited we go to the moon again the moon is very cool okay we're almost there almost there here we go right so we've got a two minute burn so let's start that burn now okay we've got 20 seconds left on our burn and as this uh, approaches the uh, the moon encounter we're going to cancel the burn and then we'll just fine-tune it with the uh, shifting control keys so almost there and stop it okay now we're looking for this icon the uh, the orange icon showing us our actual periapsis and we're just gonna bring that in and this moves pretty quick so you want to just bring it in very very slowly so I've got a tiny bit of thrust on and I just want to get this down between anywhere between 20 and 50,000 is fine 73 60 44 I gonna have one tiny little bit more 32 that will do very nicely all right things are going well guys right let's uh, cancel that maneuver and we can now look to move to warp out to the moon encounter so you've got your your blue orbit and at this point this is where the moon encounter starts you want to warp to just after that okay once uh, once you get into the encounter we get uh, this line and what we now want to do is bring ourselves into an orbit around the moon. So our periapsis is at 31, which is pretty, pretty perfect. So what we're going to do, we're going to put a maneuver in at the periapsis. Add maneuver. And it's going to be a straight retrograde. And you'll see how this line comes in. That'll t turn into an orbit around the moon and then we want to bring that orbit down and we want a, a, a fairly circular orbit it doesn't have to be perfect but kind of there or thereabouts okay 26 38 that will do absolutely fine okay so this is saying it's just a nine second burn but to be honest I don't actually believe that <laughs> 
I think it's going to be a little bit more than that, but well, we'll see. We'll see. So let's zoom to the next maneuver. Warp to the next maneuver. And we'll tell SAS to point us at the maneuver vector. It'll wobble about a bit, but it'll settle down. So I think at about 30 seconds, I'm just going to give a quick blast just to reset this, just in case this is off, because that seems seems a bit low, but we'll see. So at 30 seconds, I'm just going to give it like a one second max thrust. Right, see, look, it's actually reset to 28 seconds. So at 14 seconds, we'll start our burn. 17, 16, 15, 14. Here we go, and our orbit's coming in. Just a few more seconds. 10 seconds left on the burn. Five, four, three, two, one quit very nice and if we want we can adjust that a little bit just bring that in a tiny bit just to circularize it there we go so what are we 25 and 38 that will do that will do now all we have to do is pick a spot that uh, we want to land at 